Hi there, Lloyd Macedo, speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay, I was very surprised to see Dana White's physique. Uh, it was on Twitter, uh, Chamatkar Sandhu. Uh, he's this 53-year-old UFC president, Dana White. And then uh, I also saw bits of his podcast on MMA Focus. I, I am subscribed to that channel. So I listened to what Dana White had to say with regards to his weight loss. And obviously, people uh, below who do not know what he's talking about, they said he's on juice and he's taking, uh, what, uh, if you read the comments, it'll say, uh, yeah, trend balloon and all that. <laughs> Those are all uh, steroids. Okay. Um, I listened to what Dana White had to say, and I can tell you without a fact, uh, sorry, without a doubt, not without a fact, what am I saying? Without a doubt, what he's saying is absolutely correct because uh, number one, he's following intermittent fasting. I've been doing the same thing. Now I'm on, uh, I think uh, four weeks are over and I have my uh, Google Docs where I take my weight every single day, every single day. Uh, and I started off at, uh, wait, I'm just signing in. On the 1st September 2022, I was 83.8 kilos. Today, uh, that is uh, 3rd October, I'm at 77.6 kilos. Okay, so I've lost a total of 6.2 kilos uh, of in while doing intermittent fasting. Okay, uh, uh, my intermittent fasting starts from the time I get up, whenever that is, whether 12 o'clock or whether 9 o'clock. Uh, eight o'clock in the morning or whether one o'clock in the afternoon like today I got up late uh, and it goes all the way till six six in the evening now if in case I get up uh, late like today I got up at one o'clock I extended my intermittent fasting all the way till nine in the night okay um, so uh, if I get up early I keep it till six in the evening okay so there is no food in my system obviously when I sleep and then when I wake up all the way till six. So roughly you could say, uh, you know, it can be 16 hours or 14 hours, 16 hours on an average. Okay. So Dana White's uh, intermittent fasting made perfect sense. That's number one. Second one, he was talking about a ketogenic diet. Okay. Now in my case, um, you know, I, I, I'm a foodie. I love to eat food. Okay. I love to eat chocolates. Love to eat ice creams. I love to eat, uh, especially Indian sweets. That is uh, kaju barfi. Kaju barfi is a particular sweet. You can Google search. It's made with nuts and milk and all that. I, I love. It's very uh, sweet and very fattening. Okay. So I love those kind of sweets. I love those kinds of... Uh, and, you know, I, I don't believe in living a life where you eat only meat and only fat and only fast. That's That's not life. I want to live life to the fullest. But at the same time, I'm 46, so I wanted to, uh, you know, you, you need to be sensible, okay? Because just so that you know, I was, I had a, a bariatric surgery. I was 125 kilos. I was on the verge of touching diabetes, like uh, Dana White, uh, diabetes. I had blood pressure. I had cholesterol. I was huffing and puffing even while walking up the stairs because it was so heavy. I had taken steroids and all the years I had stopped uh, bodybuilding completely. And on top of that, I also had a very bad case of hemorrhoids. When I sit in the toilet, I would literally bleed buckets and buckets. Okay. So my health was completely dying. I was completely dying, but I never told anyone about this. Uh, so I had to take, uh, you know, remedial measures. I had to change everything. So first was the bariatric surgery. Those videos already put, but mind you, it is restricted because I'm completely naked. You'll see the operation and all that stuff. You'll see. The second thing is, um, um, I lost, I think, nearly uh, 40, 45 kilos after my bariatric surgery because I was not eating anything. After the, once you have a bariatric surgery, and please don't just decide to jump into a bariatric surgery, take Consult, consult professionals. I did one year of research, one year of people who had gone through the surgery, one year of checking with various doctors. Finally, I went to a doctor whom I felt I could trust him with my life because obviously when you're unconscious, you do not know what the guy will do. Okay. So I made sure I went to the right doctor at, oh, in uh, uh, Kerala Silver Line Hospital, uh, Dr. Tom. Okay. He's the CEO of that uh, hospital. I went to him. 
he wanted me to have the bariatric sleeve okay i said no i want to have not the sleeve i want to have the um uh, uh, bypass it's called the bypass surgery now he was shocked because i literally argued and went back and forth back and forth finally he's he kept in his fine your body you want to do this we'll go ahead and do it the funny thing is on the day of the surgery on the day on the day uh, the uh, the surgeon was flown in to do this particular surgery because the doctor wanted the best of the best for me he suggested uh, the bypass mini i know there are too many terms which i'm giving you sleeve and bypass and bypass mini do a research or i'll make a separate video on it which i've already done just google search loy mesiro bypass bypass mini or sleeve surgery on the day of my surgery i decided and uh, no uh, no regrets no regrets obviously there was that phase where i had to uh, you know lose weight and get back my appetite which was very slow and then get back to eating normal however bad habits you know you just get back into bad habits your body gets accustomed to absorbing more sugar and eating junk food and i was literally going back to my same old ways i ate literally a hundred chocolates hundred chocolates in a span of few days that much so i could relate to what dana white was saying and i had trouble sleeping and so i decided september 1st onwards nothing doing i'm going to start this intermittent fasting i'm going to start a new uh, lifestyle um so first thing is intermittent fasting which i told you the second which dana white spoke about second one is a ketogenic diet but he also spoke on keto breads keto pasta keto i don't subscribe that carbohydrates can be ketogenic i think it's more of a gimmick uh, maybe i can be wrong but obviously one is that and second is here in thailand i stay in some way i don't think you get it unless you're ready to pay a premium which i don't want to okay so i fast for the 16 hours then when i have to break my fast i first eat a fat rich lots of butter okay lots of butter and meat it will be like free eggs it will be a juicy steak it will be like today i had liver a chicken liver that i made obviously a little bit of curry and all that but instead of bread which i used to love and instead of rice which i used to love now i'm having with salad leaves okay now you might be thinking oh why is this all that you do no i don't eat only that means uh, i also eat sweets i eat fruits i love watermelon i just finished my watermelon i can't show you um i also like oranges you know which is not actually ketogenic to be very honest but because i do intermittent fasting i like to enjoy my meals i don't want to live a life where i'm miserable okay and guess what i even ordered kaju barfi from bangkok and it came down here uh, before i would eat like 20 pieces or 10 pieces now i'm having 4 to 5 but i'm being conscious about what i'm eating during the intermittent fasting i'm not eating okay so back to dana white intermittent fasting i totally agree with him uh in terms of ketogenic diet i agree with him he's also foodie like me so sleep he could not have i still have challenges in terms of sleeping uh maybe because i drink i'm a heavy coffee drinker and last and not the least in terms of his physique does he juice according to me 100% he does if not the typical uh, people say trend and all that i definitely think he takes either either he takes uh, uh like a trt okay a testosterone replacement therapy because you know over the years your testosterone goes down joe rogan admitted openly or i think he definitely takes uh, uh, growth hormone okay gh but uh, the problem with gh is you grow all around that is why if you check dana white before and you check dana white now in the span of 20 years he has grown really big and he's not small huh? when you see him standing at the weigh-ins he's a massive guy so do i think he juices yes but then again remember he's a multi i think billionaire he is very very rich he can afford that okay so what do i think of dana and man come on for dana white's age he's 53 year old he is very fit man he's unbelievably fit okay so he can afford the best of the best and uh, he keeps it real so whomsoever he is going to um he is doing a damn good job he has really lost that tummy because before you could notice that stomach coming out 
So given this lifestyle change, nothing but respect to him. So intermittent fasting is what he's doing. That works. Don't eat food for 16 hours. Don't snack. And the funny thing is me, before I was addicted to snacking. Now I don't feel like snacking and I kind of enjoy the keeping my stomach empty, uh, system empty. I actually enjoy that. I find it very funny to actually say this. I enjoy the fasting bit. Okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that once I get used to this, I will be able to maintain, let's say, one full day without eating. <coughs> I still have to reach there. <coughs> As of now, 16 hours is the max that I keep. Second one is ketogenic diet, but mine is slightly modified. I have fruits. I have a little bit of sweet. <coughs> I enjoy uh, the thing. Am I losing weight? I'm still losing weight. I've lost now. How much have I lost? As of now, I've lost 6.2 kilos, which is damn good. And um, uh, sleep, I still have to uh, figure out how to sleep. I'm going to order a pillow, going to figure out a couple of things here and there. But overall, uh, Dana White is right. And he's like a foodie like me. We also like to eat food and live our life to the fullest. So yeah. And finally, does he juice? Yes, I definitely think he does. But he also maintains himself in the right way. So this is what I have to say with regards to Dana White. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. And feel free to ask me your questions. If I know the answer through my experience, I'm not a medical professional. I will share it with you. Having said that, love to hear your thoughts. It's me signing off. You guys take care.